Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to try to do a plan with me today. I know I tried to do it last week and my camera was not cooperating. So hopefully this time it allows me to do it. So um, we are planning for October 15th through the 21st. And um, I, this is my Franken planned. Uh, it is a super mom and squad goals Franken planned planner. Um, I had, of course, the super mom dashboard layout was a 2019. So I've repurposed it. I've put some of the date stickers from the uh, dates and holidays memory keeping book. And of course, I did the little pumpkin since we're in the middle of fall. Um, so I just covered up the dates with those and I, I white I put white out on top of the 2018. Um, I usually for the past couple weeks I've been putting washi on the top. So we'll see how it goes this week. I'm just kind of winging it today. I uh, don't really have a set plan if I want to continue with the fall spreads, um, which uh, unfortunately I don't have any of those posted on my YouTube, but they are on my Instagram. Um, so if you would like to check those out, they're on the Instagram.com slash happy planning panda um so that's where i put all of my um, updates and my projects and anything that i'm working on that i'm not uploading onto youtube uh, it's all posted on there uh, so that's a good way to uh keep up with me but uh let's go ahead and we'll get started um first off i cover up the super mom i'm not a mom so um i've said in other videos i only have a puppy um but i'm not a mom per se to children so i would um, i always cover that up with a box sticker so um i'm gonna try to find one i think i'm gonna look in the new seasonal book i'm sure there's lots of stickers in here that I can use. Just got to get to the fall section. Okay, so here we are. So, okay, I think I am going to use this visit a pumpkin patch one. Um, you may see if you look on my Instagram, um, I did a pumpkin patch theme last week. However, due to some unforeseen circumstances, we were not able to go to the pumpkin patches last weekend. So my husband has promised me we are going to go this weekend, which is probably gonna be better. The weather's gonna be nicer. It was kind of rainy here yesterday. Um, and just kind of meh. So we decided we were gonna wait and we're gonna go this weekend. So we'll probably do on either Saturday or Sunday, we'll go to a pumpkin patch here nearby and then um, we will carve pumpkins and leave them at my parents' house because unfortunately we don't have a place at our current house to put them. So um, that's always good though because I get to go over and spend time with my parents. Okay, so flipping through here to see if there's any more that I may want to use. Um, I like to cover up this bottom section because I really don't have any use for a focus section. Um, so I'm trying to find something to kind of cover that up with as well. And that would be too long. So... We may come back to that. I may find something else to put over that. Or maybe we'll just put some, let's put some leaves on the bottom. The leaves are actually starting to fall and um, change colors here. We live close to the Smoky Mountains. So it's always really nice to um, to start seeing the, the, the fall leaves change because it's so beautiful here. Um, I love having actual seasons because growing up in Florida, we had hot and less hot. Um, there's been several years that I actually wore shorts on Christmas. So it's good to actually have seasons and be able to experience it here because it's definitely not something I'm used to. So just kind of sprinkling these around the page, just kind of taking up the bottom as I've done in previous weeks. Um, just like to have a little bit of coloration and just decoration on the bottom here. And there's an 
actually a pumpkin. We'll put a pumpkin down there. And maybe we'll put just one more little sticker right here next to the pumpkin. There we go. So just a little bit of decoration on the bottom, add a little bit of color, some um, just to make it pop a little bit. And thinking I might actually put this Hello Fall sticker, except I just ripped it. Hopefully it's still usable. Yeah, we'll put the Hello Fall here. Where I ripped it, it may bubble a little bit, but we're nope, we are good. Um, so awesome. Put those down there. Just like I said, for a little bit more decoration. And uh, that would be a little bit too much. I was gonna put this cute little bike with the fall leaves down there, but I think I might save that for next week. Um so what I'm going to do next is um, we'll do the bills to pay. Um, I, I like being able to keep my bill stickers here all in one order. So what I do is I have a little list of all my bills that I have to pay. Um, and what I do is on the bills to pay side, I um, right now I'm looking in, this was part of the three pack accessories, the one that had the stickers, the um, punch cards and the sticky notes. Um, so what I did is I actually, um, I watched Heather Kell, um, at Kell Little Plan. She made hers where it fit perfect, perfectly. So what I did is I made a dashboard with all the sticky notes from the packs that I got. And then I punched, or I'm sorry, I didn't punch, they come pre-punch, all of the cards onto some disc. I just have three colorful discs that I had laying around. And then I cut the top parts off and um, store the sticker parts of it separately. So it makes it just organizing and keeping it a little bit easier. Um, but in here, there are some bill pay stickers. Um, oh, and there's also a, been trying to do better about keeping, keeping ta like tabs on how much each thing is so like gas and how much we spend eating out so there's a, a gas sticker and there's also a if I can find it a food sticker so this is just a good way to keep track of how much you're spending each week on food and gas because um, that seems like that's what most of our spending is, is on food and gas. So it's a good way to keep a track of that and you know, just keep a, a running tab on how much you spend per week. So back to this with the bill pay stickers. Um, so this week we have several bills due. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is just mark them down. Um, looks like we have... One, two, three, four do. Um, so, because they're, one is our internet, one is our, uh, my student loan, and another one is our other loan payment, and a, uh, looks like a credit card payment. So, there are little, I just can't find them through here right now. Um, there's little tabs is the ones that's like in the budget these uh, it's the ones that are like in the budget sticker book um, but so since we have one's a credit card I'm gonna put that down and then another one is a student loan so I'm gonna put that one down and then the other one uh, since we don't actually have uh, cable or uh, anything like that, I use these little cable stickers as our internet stickers. Um, and so now I just need one for the loan that we have. So I'm just going to use one of these 
regular bill pay stickers. And that's going to drive me crazy because that is crooked. So I'm going to try to pull it. Oh, it's ripping. Never mind. I was going to pull that up, but I'm just going to have to live with it being crooked. Um, so what I do is because these do not have dates on them, I go into the dates and holidays book um, and they have the little number pages. Um, so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to put this 2018 up there on the top because I just realized I didn't mark it yet. Sorry guys, I'm kind of all over the place today. I had a lot of coffee earlier today, so I'm thinking that's what it has to do. So I'm just kind of all over the place, bouncing back and forth, but that's really how my personality is anyways. I multitask a lot during the day um, between work and home, because uh, I do work from home. So me bouncing back and forth from several different topics during the day is not unusual. Okay, so our first loan is due on the 18th. So I'm just gonna put this little 18 down right there. And then my student loan is due on the 20th. These little sticker numbers are really hard to to get off sometimes I may have to end up investing in a pair of tweezers um, our cable is, or well not cable internet um, because we do a lot of streaming services we only have um, Netflix and Hulu and such so we don't actually have to have cable but we still have lots of um, our internet is kind of our cable but since it's streaming services um, okay, and then the credit card is on the 21st, so we're just going to stick this right here. Okay, so that's all the bills that we have due for right, or for this week at least. Okay, so we can put those away, and actually, I'm going to see if there's any more stickers in the States and Holidays book that I can use for this week. Okay, I love this sticker right here. It says, Autumn he shows us how beautiful it is to let things go. So to try to cover up those air and little circles, um, I always cover them up with something. So this week I'm going to, uh, of course you can still see it since it's a clear back sticker, but it's not as noticeable. Um, and then also I usually take a, um, colorful box and cover that up because I don't like it to say errands. I usually put like quote of the week or something along those lines. So I'll have to fill that in here in a few minutes. So just flipping through just a little bit more to see if there's any more stickers. Okay, so I think that's about it on this one. So, um, that's pretty much all I do on this side. I may actually start using, I was going to try using a social media planner, but I found that balancing a social media planner, a home notebook, um, a student planner, it, it just was becoming too much. So I think because I don't really have a lot of calls or emails ever during the week, um, that I might start covering that up and using this little section as a YouTube video so I can kind of schedule out my week and, and figure out what I'm going to be using. Um, but we'll come back to this page. We're going to do a little bit of decoration on this page. Um, as you can see, we have a birthday for a very close friend of mine. Um, she's actually the mother of uh, my husband's best friend that passed away um, uh, a year and a 
half ago. It was in June of 2017. Um, but since, as bad as it sounds, since his passing, we have become really close with his family. Um, and my husband actually used to live with them before he moved in with me um, after we started dating and everything. But they're always really close, but her name is Deb, and she's got a birthday this coming up this week, and we are excited for that. Um, I know I'm in the tiny sticker book because I'm pretty sure there's some balloon stickers in here. Oh, well, I come across the payday stickers, which we need as well because me and my husband both get paid on Friday. Always good to have those. Paydays, that is. There's some balloons, so we're going to use, if I can get them up, I'm going to use some balloons, and then there's some presents on this page as well, so we're going to use. Well guys, I didn't know, my camera actually stopped recording, so you guys missed the last little bit. Um, but what I just did is I added some birthday balloons and a little box from the squad goals. Um, so it's still got some little pumpkins and its coloration matches everything else. And I just threw a happy birthday tag over that. Um, so that way I can mark down her birthday. Um, and then I also did add a little TV icon, mostly so we can catch up on TV from Wednesday. Uh, Riverdale and American Horror Story, because like I said earlier, we don't have cable per se. Uh, we use streaming services, so we kind of have to wait for it to come on the app or um, on Hulu or whichever it comes on. Um, so I put a little um, TV icon to mark that so we can make sure that we watch our TV shows and stay called up. Um, I did add a little bit more decoration from the Squad Goals um, sticker book and also the seasonal washi pack, which is this one. I added some pumpkins up here from that, just some simple decorations to add a little pop of color up there. And then also from the Squad Goals, um, I did put some acorns and leaves coming down the side of here. Um, and I will be covering that up with a colorful box and just put like a quote of the week. Um, also on this page, I did make, um, I covered up the calls and emails section that I'm going to be using this as a YouTube video brain dump kind of section. Um, so it's going to, I covered that up with a to do from the, the, um, squad goals sticker book. And then I also added just a few little decorations on here for the leaves. Um, and I did cover up the, uh, what's for dinner since I don't meal plan like that. So that was also from the squad goals book. Um, sorry that my video cut out. I wish that I could have brought you guys along with me. Um, but next week, hopefully I can get my stuff together and I get my camera settings correctly so it stops cutting out on me. Um, but I did get a lot further in this video than I did last time. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this. Um, hopefully you guys like it. And if you don't, if you have some suggestions of how I can make my channel better, please leave them in the comments below. I'm always open to suggestions and I love hearing your feedback back. Um, that way I can make this channel what the people want to see. Um, I know kind of what I watch in videos and I know what I like, but that may not be for everyone. So if you don't mind, leave me some comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and hopefully next week I can have a full plan with me. <laughs> um, but until then, I hope you guys take care. Um, you can also check out my Instagram. I'll be posting like midweek spread so that you can see that how I'm updating this and how it's coming along for me. Um, that is Instagram.com backslash happy planning panda. I have to say that a little bit slow because a mouthful. Um, but just, you know, give me a follow over there and, you know, stay up to date. That's where I post a lot of my planner stuff. So um, until next time, I hope you guys take care. Have a great afternoon and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.